Hello, and welcome to the Dealing with Duplicate Translations tutorial on Localize. In this video, we're going to cover the following topics. Finding duplicate translations. Linking keys. Merging keys. Sometimes different parts of your application's interface utilize the same strings that have the same translations. For instance, a cancel button may appear on multiple screens, but translation for this button will be the same in all cases. Probably, you would not want to translate the same string multiple times. Localize can help you detect duplicate translations and take care of them. In this sample project, I have two keys with the text cancel. Currently, I will have to translate these keys twice. To avoid extra work, press on the US flag at the top and select Show Duplicates from the drop down. On this page, you will see the following controls Language drop down. Here you may select one of the project's languages to detect duplicates. Platforms. Translation keys may belong to one or more platforms iOS, Android, web, or other. Therefore, by selecting these platforms here, you filter the keys that will be searched for duplicates. Beneath these controls, you may see that one duplicate translation cancel was found. To the right, you can find all the keys that contain this translation. For each key, there are two buttons. Hide from contributors makes this key visible only to project admins. Delete key removes this key from the project. In many cases, however, you would not want to remove the key because it is already used in your application. Still, we would like to avoid extra work, right? In such cases, you may take advantage of key referencing. It works in the following way. These keys have the same base language text. Then, you say that cancel2 and cancel3 are linked to cancel1. This way you are creating a reference or a link. Cancel1 is called a referenced key, whereas cancel2 and cancel3 are referring keys. Now, whenever translation for the cancel1 key is updated, cancel2 and cancel3 will be updated automatically. Having this in place, you don't need to translate the same phrase over and over again. Using these radio boxes, you may choose which key will be used as a reference key. All other keys will become referring, and their translations will be updated automatically. Press Link All to Selected. Now open your project's editor and take a look at the Cancel 2 key. The word Cancel became green, meaning that this is a referring key. Press on the Cancel word and note that it says here Key ID with some number. This is how the reference is being established. You simply provide the referenced key's ID. To get an ID of some key, press the clipboard button under the desired key. Here you may also copy the full reference under the Reference by Localize Key ID section. Now let's try to modify the referenced key. For instance, say Cancel All. Note that the referring key was updated as well. Provide Russian translation now. And once again the referring key is updated. If you would like to remove this reference, simply remove the key ID using the editor. Now the cancel2 is not referring any key. Next I've created two more duplicating keys called manual setup. Open duplicate finder and note that two duplicate translations were found. You may establish referencing for all keys by pressing link all with references. Before pressing this button, however, don't forget to choose which keys will be set as referenced. For cancel, I'll choose cancel2 to be referenced. Press link all with reference now and return to the editor. Now both duplicates were taken care of. Try to update the translations to make sure that the keys were properly linked. Note that the duplicate finder may also be opened from the projects page. Scroll to some project, press on these dots next to a desired language, and choose Show Duplicates. Alternatively, press on the More button and choose Duplicate Finder from the drop-down. Now let's talk about another useful technique called Key Merging. It is quite common to have different versions of the same app being developed for different platforms. For example, Android and iOS. These two applications will probably have similar user interfaces controls, and therefore similar data to translate. The translation keys, however, may differ from platform to platform. For instance, on iOS you would use Next button, Camel Case, whereas on Android you would say Next underscore button, Snake Case. But while these keys are different, their translations should be the same. And that's where Localize steps in and makes your life much easier. 
Let's discuss a simpler case. If you're uploading multiple translation files for different platforms that have similar key names, such keys will be merged automatically to a single entry. This new entry will be linked to both platforms. Note, however, that one key can contain only one translation for each language. It means that translation from another file will be effectively ignored, so be careful. Usually, however, you will have keys with different names. Therefore, let's see how to deal with them. Here I have created two keys. Suppose they were imported from different files. The first is linked to iOS platform, whereas the latter is assigned to Android. Both of them have the same base language value, and so I don't want to translate it two times. The first step is opening project settings and enabling per-platform key names. Now, each platform has a separate key name. Next, open Duplicate Finder. Here you may see that it is possible to link and merge these two keys. When the keys are merged, you are creating a single entry based on their settings. Click Merge to a single entry, or Merge All Possible Keys, and then return to the editor. Note that we have a single key with different names for Android and iOS platforms. Now you don't need to translate the same text twice because two keys were merged into one. Now let's take a look at a more complex scenario. Here I have four similar keys. One for web, one for Android, and two for iOS. Can we optimize them somehow? Open the duplicate finder again and note that currently it is not possible to merge the keys. Why? because a merged key can contain only one key name per platform, and we have two different names for iOS. Therefore, we have to take care of iOS keys first. Uncheck all platforms except for iOS, and then choose one of the keys to link to. Press Link All to Selected. Next, check all platforms again, and note that we have only one iOS key now. Choose this key and press Merge into a single entry. It is important to merge into the iOS key because it is referred by another key. If you choose to merge into Android or web, your iOS key will be removed, and the established link will effectively be broken. Still, even if it does happen, you may fix the link manually by copying the key's ID and pasting it for each value of the referring key. At this point, we have merged three keys into one, and also established relation to another iOS key. Before wrapping up this video, let's make sure that our translations are exported properly. Press Download and choose Localize Android SDK from the drop-down. Then click Preview button at the bottom. Note that the Next button key is displayed with the proper translation. Next, choose Localize iOS SDK. You may see that two Next button keys are exported, which is exactly what we wanted to achieve. Lastly, choose Ruby on Rails in the Web section. The Next button key and its translation is present as well. And this concludes our tutorial. Please don't hesitate to contact us if you have any further questions, and stay with Localize.